The next speaker is Professor Fun. Please. Uh, dear ladies and gentlemen, uh, the topic I will give today is donor lymphocyte infusion in patients with hematological malignant disease after transplantation, past, present, and the future. As we all know, uh, relapse remains the, the main causes of uh, 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 the causes of the for patient death after transplantation. Uh, for those patients, uh, donor lymphocyte infusion is uh, still the most effective uh, therapy for the relapse, but. Uh, uh, the long-term disease-free survival is still poor. And also traditional uh, uh, donor lymphocyte infusion was limited by the, the high uh, occurrence of acute GVHD and the pancytopenia, and less effective to acute uh, leukemia. And so it cannot be used successfully for the prophylaxis of relapse of the after orogenic transplantation. So, uh, there's new some uh, strategy such as uh, uh, control, uh, counter control of infused lymphocyte and the infusion of all the left donor T cell, and also uh, gene modified the, the T cell, just uh, just like the, 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 the mentioned by Dr. Champlin, and also we we use the uh, in, uh, infusion of in vitro Jesus primate uh, 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 breath harvest. Uh, this is best that the GCSF is not only a, a stem cell uh, a modi modulator, and also it is actually a, has mod uh, is a modulator of our immune system. This, this data indicates that the in vitro GCSF in application can modulate the T cell function. So we hypothesize that uh, uh, by the T cell in vitro T cell appli application, the T cell function was hypo hyper-responsiveness, so the GVHD might be decreased. So this is the our modified donor lymphocyte infusion system. That is, we use Jesus mobilized peripheral blood harvest, that, which means that the, the T cell in the, in the, in the graft, uh, the T cell function was hyper-responsiveness. And also, we, in this graft uh, contain uh, a certain percent of the stem cells. And also, we use a, a short-term immunosuppression agent for the prophylaxis of GVHD. My, our hypothesis that is, uh, by short-term immunosuppression agent, the GVHD can be prevented. And, uh, and also, the, the, the stem cell in the graft uh, might promote the T cell uh, reconstitution. By applying this modified donor lymphocyte infusion, we, we can find from retrospective data indicating that the, the incidence of GVHD after donor lymphocyte infusion was associated with the duration of, duration of a short immunosuppression in actually identical similar donor transplantation. We can find that after, uh, if the, 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 the uh, uh, duration of immunosuppression was two to four weeks or over four weeks. There's actually no GVHD. Uh, in hyperidentical transplantation, if the uh, if the the, the uh, duration of immunosuppression agent was always four to six weeks or always six weeks, actually the incidence of acute GVHD was very low. So we, with this modified donor lymphocyte infusion, we were first uh, to use this modified to treat the uh, relapse after, uh, after uh, a manipulated hyperidentical transplantation. This is uh, 22 ca 20 cases of a uh, uh, patient with malignant disease relapsed after hyperidentical transplantation. We, we can find this, this modified uh, donor lymphocyte infusion for the treatment of relapse. We can get nearly 20% of patients get two years disease free survival. Actually, that this the T cell number is very high. I think this is, yeah, this is uh, nearly times 10 to 7. So also we, we, uh, we, we try uh, uh, for relapse perfusion. We have, this is also retrospective data. One is chemotherapy only. The another is chemotherapy plus donor lymphocyte infusion. Or, uh, this is also modified donor lymphocyte infusion that we can find. Uh, the, it seems that the, although the donor lymphocyte infusion can uh, increase the incidence of GVHD, but uh, uh, the, 
they, they can significantly decrease the uh, relapse rate and and also uh, increase the uh, disease free so the patient received the chemotherapy only actually there's no patient uh, get long term this disease free survivor so we can conclusion with this mo this uh, data that is that multiple donor lymphocyte fusion is actually a potential uh, effective therapy for patient relapse after hy after transplantation uh, especially compared with chemotherapy then we think maybe since it is there's no significant uh, instance of GVH, so we think maybe it can be uh, used for prophylactically. So we selected the, the, the uh, patient received the transplantation in relapsed or in uh, resistance state. This is much the study from uh, this is also a rich spectral data. From this data, we we can find that the patient received the prophylactic prophylactic donor lymphocyte infusion, and we saw the. Uh, uh, prophylactic lymph, uh, donor lymphocyte infusion actually has similar instance of acute GVH, although the chronic GVH seems uh, higher. Uh, chronic GVH is significantly higher, but actually it decreased the instance of, uh, uh, decreased the relapse rate and the increased uh, long term disease risk survival. And also, we apply this multiple donor lymphocyte infusion to patient uh, also advanced the stage the patient in hyperidentical transplantation. We can get a similar data that the patient uh, with prophylactic donor lymphocyte infusion actually uh, uh, have lower relapse than the uh, uh, higher disease-free survivor. So we can conclude from this data that. Uh, a prophylactic donor, multiple donor lymphocyte can significantly decrease the, the relapse rate and increase the survival of patients with advanced stage of acute leukemia. It can be recommended as a routine therapy choice after either HR identical or hyperidentical, uh, hyperidentical hemopoietic stem cell transplantation. So, since that, uh, so by, by this work, we, we can we can actually the patient uh, receive the transplant either in CR here means centric means in CR or in relapsed uh, state. So for those patients, we can use a prophylactic donor lymphocyte infusion to decrease the relapse. So the question is, what about this, the patient in CR? So our strategy is that we can do more uh, motive, uh, minimal risk and monitoring, and uh, if the patient was negative, then we don't do any uh, another uh, 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 management or uh, uh, just for the routine uh, transplantation protocol. For those patients uh, with MRD positive, then we, we use, uh, uh, we use uh, uh, prophylactic, uh, actually I think this is, should be called a preempted uh, uh, modified donor lymphocyte infusion. We hope we, uh, by this preempted donor lymphocyte infusion, we can decrease the relapse and then re improve the disease free survival. We use WT1 and FCM for the monitoring of MRD. So, this is the, uh, a protocol actually we, we monitor, routinely monitor the MRD of the transplantation, and based on the MRD, we can have a risk extraction and then intervention with donor lymphocyte infusion. Actually, uh, uh, some patient with, with all the donor, donor, with all the donor, we can use interleukin too. So this is actually the, the, the number, uh, 800 patients, uh, 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 709 are in group A, then uh, 105 patients are actually MRD positive, and then either use, use interleukin 2 or DLI. Uh, here is the result that uh, actually the detail of data has been published in blood. So I, I just uh, uh, just give a quick review that it, 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 we can find that uh, by donor lymphocyte infusion we can significantly decrease the, the relapse rate compared to the interleukin two group. Uh, although the, the, uh, and the, there's no significance between the MRD negative group. Although it seems that the mm -hmm. The relapse uh, received donor lymphocyte if you still have relapse rather compared to the patient with MRD uh, negative to, uh, 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 group. And uh, 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 multivariate uh, analysis indicate actually MRD 
post uh, negative and, and also patient receive donor lymphocyte infusion are actually associated with the uh, uh, low, rate, low rate of relapse that indicated that our uh, monitor, our MRD monitor system is, uh, is, is, is a good biomarker for risk stratification and actually donor lymphocyte infusion can decrease the uh, relapse rate after hypertentical transplantation. So in terms of the GVHD and treatment mortality, our, uh, our, indicate, uh, our data indicate it seems, to, it seems that uh, donor lymphocyte infusion, uh, although it increased the instance of GVHD, uh, but the, 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 the greater three or four, the instance of greater three or four was not significantly uh, increased. And, uh, and the treatment-related mortality uh, also it was similar. So this did indicate that the, the modified donor lymphocyte preempted the modified donor lymphocyte infusion, uh, thus the, uh, 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 increased the toxicity uh, with all the, uh, uh, and, and uh, also disease-free survival has seen has the also increased after mode preemptive donor lymphocyte infusion. And the multivariate analysis indicated that the MRD uh, negative and also received donor lymphocyte infusion is, uh, is biomarker. It uh, was associated with the increased uh, donor lymph uh, disease for survivor. This is all of a survivor and also, so we can conclude from this work that uh, Risk uh, stratification direct modified uh, donor lymphocyte infusion could increase, could re reduce the relapse, uh, improve the survival of patients with standard risk. Uh, actually, this the medium and the high risk patient in CR in, in, with standard acute leukemia uh, uh, patient after hyperidentical transplantation. So the what about the future of donor lymphocyte infusion? I think although we get some, at the present, we get some progress because we, we modify the donor lymphocyte infusion with make it is much more safer, so it can be used prophylactic or preempted. But there's still many questions need to be answered. So the question is which craft for donor lymphocyte in is better? This is to mobilize the preferred brother or in which uh, general donor TCR against leukemia and the gene. Our positive selectives or our NKS, although actually NKS, we, we know we have many, many uh, data. We have many, many publications, but the effect of clinic, no, we, we don't have solid data to convince him that the NKS is really effective, at, especially in leukemia. So also we might be, as suicide gene uh, transduced donor T cell has been applied by this idea have made, published more than 10 years ago. I don't think there's many, uh, uh, there's many data sub, uh, convincing that this strategy is work. So we still have many things to answer. What is the optimum dosage? So actually, in our protocol, we use a fixed dose of T cell, but uh, a mononuclear cell, uh, the, the T cell number is a huge number. But what is, is, is the number, can we down number, uh, down uh, loss, uh, loss dosage of T-cell? What is the optimal dose we need to, 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 to try to do this start? So the next was the optimal studio, studio for maintain graft was leukemia. That was 10 point when to do uh, uh, donor prof, pro, uh, uh, pro, prophylactic or uh, lymphocyte donor infusion. So I think uh, 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 we, after answering this question, the, the donor lymphocyte uh, the infusion will become more safe and more effective. I would like to take this opportunity to uh, acknowledge my colleagues for their uh, contribution to this serious work. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>